So SCP Cyro Play just had their biggest update yet, the customization update. This update features things such as character and weapon customization, a currency and economy system, a new SCP-610 events, facility remakes, UI changes, and more. So let's go over to character and weapon customizations first. Alright, so the character customization. So upon spawning into the game, you can now navigate to one of these armory NPCs, which actually can talk to you, which will allow you to customize your loadouts. You can equip the weapons and items that you want, you can also buy some of the utility with your new currency. And guys, speaking about some customization, you can now customize your weapon as well. You can add something like a sight attachment, or maybe some sort of barrel attachment. And I don't think this impacts PvP too much, but depending on your attachment, it might. I wonder if I get my MT-49 from this guy, let's see. This is like some new customization stuff. And dude, I totally forgot, there is an economy chat. Oh my, wait, there's like handcuffs, master cuffs, there's flashlight, tasers, and everything. That's actually so cool, I have $12,000 right now. Okay, so you have a primary and secondary, that's actually really cool to know. And if I close this thing, I have my MT-49 now, nice. And guys, you can now customize your character as well. You can customize your headgear, vest, outfits, and more. You can also use your currency to buy the equipment, and to my knowledge, most of these equipments are just for the looks. However, some of them are pretty useful. For example, you can buy this one helmet from the shop over here. Then afterwards, you can buy night vision, which will help you out during those power outages. Me personally, I think this is a cool addition to the game, since you're customizing your own loadouts to your liking, and you also have a pretty unique experience from other players. Now let's go over to the currency and economy system. Okay, so when it comes to the currency, right? To my knowledge, from time to time, you'll get a paycheck. And depending on your team's rank, you'll get paid accordingly to how high your rank is. And as you guys just saw previously, I was able to buy some of these attachments for my weapons with the currency, alongside some other equipment for my character's appearance, and of course a utility. If you click on this one button over here, there's also this one life shop. And as you guys can already see, you can now buy Class D rides on an SCP-076 event with just your in-game money. The devs might change this in the future though, I actually don't know. You can also buy some of these one life weapons that aren't from your team, such as this FAMAS over here. And the way you equip them is by going to your backpack icon, going to products, and then clicking it like so. And now you have your item. Alright, so SCP-610. So this new SCP is actually located in the lower con X, which by the way, looks absolutely stunning. And from here, you can find a new SCP-610 containment. Or is it pronounced SCP-610? I actually don't even know. Anyways, around the place, there are these laboratories you can go to, which also stores these SCP-610 entities in them. There's also this armor over here as well, which is very useful. And of course guys, SCP-610 is located down here. After taking this very huge lift down, you're then met with the SCP. At the moment, SCP is pretty harmless, and the SCP also has these two generators hooked up to it. You'd have to go all the way to SCP-610. It's going to be a journey though, because we have to go all the way to, uh, Con X lower. Five minutes later. This person to enter here, right? Oh, never mind, just got shot. An RRT wants to kill you, be careful. A few moments later. I'm just trying, I'm just trying to uh, see this SCP-610, bro. Oh god. And okay, yo, chat, you gotta, you gotta go first. Someone might try to kill me here. Oh my goodness, yo, 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 this guy killed me last time. <laughs> yo, chat, I don't know if I trust this person. <laughs> Dude, is he in the corner? He's in the corner. <laughs> yo, bro, please. <laughs> chat, there might be more people. There might be more people trying to get me. And okay, hopefully no one's gonna kill me, chat. Hopefully that's it. Help me. And here's pretty much how to start the events. So basically, Chaos Insurgents will have to buy at least two of these C4s in the one life shop at the Chaos Insurgency spawn. They will then have to equip it in their inventory. After doing so, the Chaos Insurgency will have to travel all the way to their spawn to the SCP-610, take the lift down, and then place their explosive on the two generators. And upon these two generators exploding, the Chaos Insurgency will have to go to the middle, and then afterwards, you will turn into an SCP-610. Oh! Chat, I'm an SCP now! Look! I'm the SCP! Stinger, Devour, and also some other stuff. Dude! Oh my goodness, let's close this thing. Bro! Dude, look at me! Bro, look at this! This is so crazy. Okay, yo. So we have this Stinger ability, right? I'm just gonna use it in the thin air. It throws out a projectile. We have this Q ability, which I assume, like, eats you or something. Dude. Okay, if I click one time, it does, like, 50% damage. And hold on, if I kill you one time... So he just dies like that. 
And I think that's it. That was actually so weird. Wait, I'm back. I'm back as a different variant. I can grab onto this person if I try to. Oh, never mind, I'm dead. Oh, we're at the lower X, like, area now. Dude, what is that? That's actually so, like, cool. The SCP is spreading, chat. Look at it. I just heard some noise. Oh my goodness, chat, I'm lagging. Some infection outbreak is happening. What was that noise? I don't know what that was. But okay, I don't even know where I'm going, chat. I'm just going somewhere. And this guy's dancing, dude. This guy exploded. Oh, that's a toxic burst ability. You pretty much, like, uh, reset. You KYS, you know what I'm saying, chat? Alright, so this is the event chat. I can imagine that if it's like a full server, especially like a random server, right? It's gonna be so chaotic. Later that same evening. But yo, look at me, chat. Look at me. I have this acid spit ability and also this uh, pool. Pretty cool abilities. Oh, this is the variants you were talking about. These variants are actually really nice. Oh, shoot. Dude, this guy's a tank. Has reached containment one. Bro. Oh my goodness, a nuke is happening. Oh, this guy's a flamethrower. You gotta tank it for me, bro. You gotta tank it for me. I spat on him, chat. I spat on him. Oh my goodness. Dude. Yo, can I come back here? Can I come here? Let's go. Dude, this guy's so, like, tanky. Wait, chat, is this a real player? I can't tell. Oh, there's a nuke. Okay, so that's a 610 event. Dude, imagine that thing in like an actual like big server out of 50 people. That would be insane. Huh? This SCP-610 has a few variants, such as this huge guy over here. I don't really know how to describe this thing. It also has this pretty small guy over here, or just like a regular humanoid. And also this one skinny guy here. All these SCP-610 variants also have these unique abilities. Over time, the SCP-610 can spread its infections and eventually have these spawning points around the facility. Eventually, there's too much to handle, an automatic nuke will appear, and the event is over. As mentioned, Lower Connex had a great remake to it. I love the open environment and how high the ceilings are. There are also some other facility changes around the area, such as the admin department over here. And there's also some other changes, such as the MTF spawn. Pretty much that section, right? And I'm pretty sure some of the SCPs have their containment change, such as this SCP-457 here. And let's talk about this user interface. I'm pretty sure everyone noticed this thing right off the bat. All of the GUIs and the UI look very clean in the game. It looks very professional and well done. And some additional things that the game added, I'm pretty sure there were some new SCPs. I'm not really sure what they are, I'm too lazy to find out. But I'm pretty sure one of them is like some sort of like floating head thing, I don't know. But anyways boys, that's pretty much the main highlights of the whole entire update. And before ending the video, please let me know down below what I missed. So I'm pretty sure I might have missed a few minor things. I might make another follow-up video telling you guys what I missed. I'll even shout out your comment if you guys have anything. But anyways people, I'm just done here. If you guys enjoyed, please like. If you guys did, please dislike. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.